Alexa, open office shades. Alexa, close office shades. Set office shades to 85%. Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my setup and operation of my Smart Wings Smart Shades with Matter Over Thread Motor and my Amazon Echo. Now, let's get started. Now to be clear, this video is not sponsored. I paid for these shades with my own money. I spent about $500 per shade. And if you watch until the end of the video, I'll give you a minor cost breakdown and how I saved just a little bit of money on my shades. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about operation and setup of your Smart Wings Smart Home Motorized Shades with the Amazon Echo. Now according to the documentation, you have to have certain Amazon Echoes. So if you have an older model Amazon Echo, it might not work. This is a newer model Amazon Echo. This is an Echo Pop. Now I'm going to link down below in the description field a list of devices that are compatible with the Smart Home Shades. Uh, why are certain devices compatible and they're not? the later devices act as a hub for your smart home shades. That means they're connected to this device. That means that this device needs to be on and connected to the internet for your smart shades to work with Amazon Echo. I know this because every time I unplug this device, all my shades go offline on the app. Now to set up your smart shades with Amazon Echo, there are two different ways to go about doing this. Option one is I'm using matter over thread and it needs to be paired once to one platform. You go into the original platform that you set up your matter over thread shades, and then it will give you an option to copy a pairing code. You copy that code on your phone and then you go over to the Amazon Echo app and then you'll see that you can enter that code instead of scanning a QR code and put those on your Amazon Echo app. That is method number one. Method number two is if you haven't already set up your matter over thread smart shades on another platform and you want to set it up on Amazon Echo, first you want to get it into pairing mode. There's a button you hold down for six seconds at the very top of the shade. Once you get it into pairing mode, you're going to hit the plus button in the top right corner, and then you're going to hit device, and then you're going to scroll down until you go all the way to the bottom for me, and I'm going to hit other, and it's going to say which logo is on your device. Mine is matter over thread. I'm going to hit matter. Does it have the matter logo? Yes, it does. Is your device powered on? Yes. And then you would scan the QR code. For the Smart Wing Smart Shades, the QR code is at the very bottom of the shade and it's also at the top of the shade where you can't reach it anymore after you install it. And you see this uh, try numeric code instead. That is the first method I talked about where you have already set it up on another platform, Google or Apple, and then you have a code that you're able to bring in. And that is how you set up your Smart Wings Smart Shades with Amazon Echo. Also keep in mind, and I learned this a hard way myself, was once you put it into that pairing mode with the red light, it loses all the other devices it ever paired with. You only want to do the red light pairing mode where you hold down the button for six seconds once. Now that you have your shades connected to your app here, I'm going to go to my app. You can see your devices. If you go into your devices list, touch the light bulb icon here, refresh by pulling down. You can see your office shades. I have office shade one, two, and three. Let's say I need to know the battery level of each of these shades. I can go to office shade one, and then I can see what percent open or closed it is. And then I'm going to go into the gear icon, and then I can see the battery is at 80%. So you can do that for each of your devices and see them individually. So Office Shade 3, for example, gear icon, it is at 98%. I do have these solar panel charging. My shades, even though they're all close together, they kind of get different levels of light each day. With all the Office shades, I want to group them together with the groups. 
So see all, you can see all of my groups here. And I do have a group called Office Shades. Group them all together. So to create a group, just hit new group, name your group, and then you can control them all together. Now that we have our shades set up in a group, I do want to point out if you do a percent, it's percent close. So I'm going to say, Alexa, set Office Shades to 60%. And that is 60% closed. In the app, you can also set a routine. And so I like to have all the shades go up at sunset. If you click on the bars and you go into routines, you can set your routines. And I have a sunrise sunset activity. If you already have one set up, then you can add to it or you can start a new routine by hitting that plus button in the top right hand corner. When at an event, you hit the plus sign and then you can say schedule and you can have a specific time and you can repeat Monday through Friday or every other day if you want. So uh, let's say you just want to do this on Tuesdays through Thursdays, hit save and then add a time, let's say 12.30 p.m. and then hit next. You want to add an action, hit the plus button and you want to hit smart home and then you want to scroll down till you see interior blinds and then you want to select all of your interior blinds next. Okay, opening 50%, add another action, smart home, go through each device, interior blinds, and then you can choose open or close next. Set each one to whatever you want it to be and then you want to hit finish and then every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1230, you will set your shades to that specific percent. I also want to go over just a couple of troubleshooting tips if your smart shades stop responding to your smart home apps. Number one, check to make sure that your smart home hub, whichever one it is that you're using, is plugged in and connected to the internet. Make sure your internet is up. Make sure your power is up. Devices do tend to fall asleep after a while. They kind of disconnect. It's wireless. So if you don't use it for a while, they might disconnect or they just might disconnect on their own because they feel like it. I don't know. Some of the troubleshooting steps I take if all of my shades are not working, the first thing I do is I power cycle my hub, my Amazon Echo. If it's just one or two shades that are down is I use my remote control and I put it on whichever shade is not working and I just have it go up all the way up and then all the way down. Just wake it up a little bit. As promised at the beginning of this video, I'm going to talk about how much I paid for these shades. Now my shades are 45 inches wide by 115 inches long. The base price for that roller shade blackout was about $400. I also paid for the Matter Over Thread motor, which is the most expensive motor at the time of the recording of this video. That was about $95. I also paid for solar panels because my ceilings are 10 feet tall and I didn't want to climb up on a ladder. The solar shades were $50 each. I also purchased one of these remote controls. This remote control specifically is for five channels, so I can operate five shades or you can put multiple shades on a channel. And this was about $16. And that's kind of a cost breakdown on what I spent on these shades. They do have periodic sales. For example, I think I looked at it around Black Friday and I think they had about 10% off a purchase of $1,500 or more. I missed out on that sale. I waited until the New Year's sale, which was about 8% off. Hopefully they'll have more sales throughout the year as most retailers do. If you can't wait until a holiday sale, there is a welcome five code, promo code I saw somewhere where I think you can get 5% off. Now you can't combine promo codes, so you can't have the New Year's 8% code and then put on an additional welcome 5% five, 5 off. I tried that. That did not work. So. And that is my summary of the Smart Wings Matter Over Thread Motor. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>